Hey everyone, today we're back inside Ripex, a DAW from a parallel dimension. Last time on the channel, we took a look at the deep remix module that allows you to make stems out of a stereo master file. DeepCrate lets you blend audio recordings with MIDI polyphonic expression right inside the RipX platform. Plus it lets you experiment with stems, sounds, and samples in new and innovative ways. So let's get started by making a new rip. We'll go up to the top left here and click plus, and then we'll go over to the top right and set our tempo. I'm gonna do 100 BPM. Now, if we go over to the right here, we have pitch, time, level, sound, loops, preset, and repair. All of the different modules that we have inside of Deep Create. Let's go to loops and we'll choose vinyl drums. Now I believe we can drag it here under the piano roll at any pitch. Let's try B. Now in order to zoom and adjust our view here, I'm gonna hold Option Command and then scroll on the mouse. This also works for the vertical axis as well. So what I've been doing is I've been starting the loop on bar two. That gives me a little bit of time uh, for the count in as well as the cycle feature doesn't seem to wanna to go to the very beginning. So I'm starting on bar two. Perfect, so we got our four bar loop and that's showing up on the left here as a loop layer. So we have a slider for the volume and if we press this arrow, we can also see the pan position and a three band EQ. So maybe we'll duck the mids a bit and give it the old smiley curve with the low and the, and the highs. All right, so let's add a new layer. We're gonna add a base layer. Now we can select our input and make sure that it's on our sound card, the Antelope Discrete 4. And what we should be able to do is to use this microphone here to record my voice, and then we're gonna turn it into a bass. Let's turn off the cycle here. We'll go to the beginning and press record. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, let's try that again. So bass coming from the discrete four, let's. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. Boo. <laughs> okay, so we made some silly bass noises. Now let's select the bass again. You can see we recorded boo. something. Boo, boo, boo. Boo. Boo, 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 boo. Boo. <laughs> okay, so now let's try going to pitch. Let's select a couple of boo. these. Let's actually clean this up. Take out anything that doesn't seem to be what I sang. So then we can drag this or we could select this and then go to time on the right here and quantize time. And if we go, yeah, there we go. It'll go right to the quarter note. We can drag that out. Quantize time. I think this is on an eighth note. Yeah. And then we can also quantize the pitch. Uh, we could take out vibrato that adds a vibrato. We, that would be a flattened pitch we'd want to do. Boo. 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 We'll flatten it. Boo. And we'll quantize it. Boo. 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 Quantize pitch. And then we'll also flatten Boo. it a bit. Boo. 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 All right, now let's see what my voice would sound like as a bass. We're gonna go over to sound, guitars, and we're gonna to go to bass. And well, these are all selected. Oh, it's cool that it shows the slider there now. We're gonna drag this all the way over to 100. Mm. 
So we didn't do this this second part yet. We'd have to go in and, and flatten the pitch. Let's do Ooh. that for this one. Boo! So it gets the scoop there. It sounds like a slide. That's very cool. The cells are working really well. They drag just like MIDI, so it's really easy to work with. Let's uh, let's hear it in with the mix. So interesting that it gets uh, some other artifacts or it picks up other little things. You know, once you, once you clear up all of the noise, this this does a pretty good job. And you could also go in and you could blend it in with a guitar. So you could imagine, you know, you could blend between Les Paul and Stratocaster, or you could go between acoustic and electric guitar. So there's a lot of possibilities baked right in here. Well, let's try and add a new layer. Let's go kick drum. Now for this kick drum, I'm gonna use the MPK Mini that I've got here. So we're gonna be using that. Let's give it a try. And we're gonna record kick drum. Okay, that looks pretty solid. Okay, nice. Okay, 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 okay. So now let's go to time. We're gonna quantize time to quarter notes. Nice. Let's hear, let's hear that with the loop. Okay, so now let's get rid of that loop. So we better add a keyboard now. Let's go down to keyboard. Now for this, we're gonna go back to the discrete four and I'm gonna be using this Kurzweil to my right. So we're in B minor, here we go. Cool, just a chord stab or something simple. Let's see how that all plays back together. Let's try one more. What would happen if I... That's a little bit cleaner. So this is on the, uh, the MPC Mini. We'll add keyboard and then make sure that it's on MPK mini and let's do it. <laughs> cool. So now that we've got those stabs in there, we can select these three and go to time, quantize time to the eighth note. Do the same for this one, quantize time to the, where is it, to the eighth note. Cool, so now to give it kind of like a, a really cool trippy feel, let's add in some tubular bells. And then maybe a bit of delay. No, 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 no. Let's do a reverb. Let's see what that does all together. So let's pan that to the right and we will add in a little bit of mids. We'll take out a little bit of highs and a little bit of lows. Uh, we'll also just turn up the bass just a little bit. Mm. 
Okay, now let's try to add one more. Let's go, we'll add a snare. And we'll make sure that our snare is connected to our antelope. And we're going to use our Winnipeg Gold Eyes clapper that I've used a couple times in videos. Let's give it a try. We'll add a backbeat here. Okay, there we go. Get rid of our initial loop now that we've got a like a drum beat of our own going. Nice. <laughs> Whack. Let's get some of the mids and the lows in there and see what we get. Whack. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, probably don't need the lows, maybe. Maybe a little bit more highs. Okay, uh, let's hear that with the kick drum. Now we should be able to, if we select the snare, should be able to take these and then quantize time to quarter note. Nice, so we've got a perfectly quantized drum beat that we just made from a MIDI keyboard and a clapper. And then I made a bass line with my voice. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's really cool. So we could go in and we could replace everything that we've recorded with different virtual instruments or with the ones that are right inside of RipX. So overall, I found that Deep Crate was a very powerful addition to the RipX suite of modules. If you're curious to try RipX for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description, as well as a link to some tutorials that you can learn more about how to use the software. Very, very cool stuff coming from Hit and Mix. If you haven't already, check out my other video on Deep Remix stem separation. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. All the shit comes to a head at once.